So uh, it's one of my favorites as well. Um, yeah, when my kids were, my uh, daughter and son-in-law and granddaughter were in town, we stopped by a couple times. I love that. Thank you, man. Thanks for coming. So get right up on that mic. All right. Get up right up on it. Is that on securely or does that look like it's going to fall no, off? No, it's good. Okay, so like, yeah, right up what's comfortable for you. That's out of the way. Okay, so we just came, well, just came a couple days ago. Caldwell Banker had a fantastic uh, soiree over at Bricks. And it's always, and, and I joke about it, but I think part of it's real. That, that Jesus, does Jesus run it? The, well, there is a Jesus Not the kitchen, Jesus, like but. the Lord. <laughs> like, does the Lord own it? Because good, huh? it is that good. Like, they... <laughs> And, and I'll, I'll, I'll let her speak as far as, like, exactly what's going on, but... No, I got it. Okay, so, um, it's, it's, like, slow roasted, or, like, not roasted, it's in proper term, but how, how, how is the process? Because it, I swear Jesus makes this stuff. Yeah, so we're uh, Brick Smoke Meats downtown Sarasota on State Street, one street over from Main Street. Um, we're classic central Texas traditions of barbecue. Um, and that's what we go by, and the trick to it is cooking low and slow. Um, so we do our prime brisket for 16 hours in our smoker. Oh, my God, so good. And, that, and that's definitely the trick to it. You know, um, it has to be cooked at a low temperature for that, that amount of time for it to taste the way it does. Um, we have our sausage, our ribs, our St. Louis ribs, which are super popular. Um, we have our pork, our chicken, and they're all done in our smoker every day. So that thing's running 24-7. I mean, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't turn off. Yeah, it, it's, it's amazing there. And, and, and I hate Brussels sprouts. I really do. <laughs> you know, I would throw them back at my parents as a child. But they wrap it in bacon, yes. and they, they soak it in bacon, spray it with bacon, and then dip it in bacon, <laughs> and then, then they give it to you, and it's so good. And I'll, I'll get the Brussels sprouts every single time. I can Brussels sprouts. go up to anyone who says, I don't like Brussels sprouts, and I say, I promise Change you. Change your mind. Yeah, yeah I, I promise you, you'll like ours. I, I guess I definitely see why. It was so, so good. So interesting, like I heard this, well, you told me, I believe, that you guys started off as a farmer's market uh, vendor, yeah. right? Yeah, so we opened six years ago, actually on the 15th, of May, so it's our six-year anniversary, um, and we started off on the market. And Dick Rivera, who's the owner, uh, he loved the idea, and we opened a storefront, and it's been going really well since. You know, it took a little while, a couple of years. We're off the beaten path a little bit, so you know, competing with Main Street. But then, you know, Rise and Eyes came in, and the gym, and Dimmit, and between all of us. Uh, marketing and getting the word out we've created kind of like a little community over mm -hmm. here uh, for, very friendly with our neighbors um, and now we're definitely known as you see and becoming quite popular which has been a ton of fun to watch it grow yeah and you got the mark right here too so you got clientele you know that sees you there you got uh, um, Hyde Park mm -hmm. so it's kind of like if people come to Hyde Park Steakhouse they kind of there and they try to oh what's down here oh what's and they get the overflow yeah. traffic you just got to get right people to here, look around so. look around that corner once they do yeah. well that's what it is a lot of funny enough i was out on the corner of lemon and uh main by the statue our friend joe abel's the statue guy i don't know if you've ever seen him yeah he was uh, the human <laughs> statue and then he came over here <laughs> yeah. but mm -hmm. but i'm like uh state street it's like one block over i had explained to him where it is and this has got so much and, oh, and, you know, and, I mean, and a lot of people really don't know where this is. That's what I'm like, saying. Well, yeah, it's just I mean, it's your so place close. is always busy. Brooks is always busy. Oh, it'd be, it'd Bricks, be insane. Jesus but makes it, the food. Be, if people, if the Tell people me. like, you know, are newer to town, and not Jesus, like were, Jesus you know, a weirder, yeah. it would be even crazier. Would make people angry. <laughs> 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 oh, and if you hear that little chuckle on this side, uh, uh, that's a, a good friend of ours, Nico, has How's joined us. Everybody doing today? Good, good, good. He's coming to watch the, the, the. The uh, ice cream eating contest with his family. Yeah, so. we got a good laugh out of it, Mark. Yeah, you know? no, I'm glad I could provide that yeah. for you. Yeah. I'm okay. My wife, Moving on. Over there. We just got him an ice cream. Good. Oh. Awesome. Oh, I never want to see ice cream best. again, at yep. least for the next couple of <laughs> the next couple of weeks. How did Mark, you do, got, by the way? I, I got three. No, okay. What the winner Which? Get? Seven. Okay. So you got demolished, <laughs> but, basically. Well, basically. well <laughs> and, and he will mention that Amanda Barr. She got four. 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 <laughs> which Amanda's I, I, like 20 I closed the, the gap, though. I closed the gap. Right there. Those two are always talking trash. Last time, though, she got, I think she got like four and a half, almost five. Right, so, I mean, yeah. Either I got better or she got worse. I'm not sure. What I think, I think, what she, I think she. With? Huh? How many did the winner get? She got, they got seven. Seven. So, and I think there was a gap, pretty good gap between the next, like, second place. So, uh, um, he won five six, and a times. half. Yeah, the other guy got, I think, five or six. 
that okay, Jay so. that was on earlier. Oh, okay. Us, yeah. All right, you know, yeah, so I just totally got killed. Freeze. All right, so yeah. didn't one of the little girls, didn't like that two year old girl get like four? <laughs> <laughs> Did your girls go? No, they didn't do it. I had to pay for the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? I should have, I should have been like, two more. Two I should have more. passed them off. Two more. They would have helped you. I, I got a good brought video back. of you. Give me back the empty they, containers. They did get a uh, little chuckle, though. Mark was sweating pretty bad in Dude, an ice cream eating contest. Yeah, oh, that was <laughs> in an ice cream eating yes. contest, man. Just a tad competitive. Oh, right. Man. So, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so, um, been there for six years. Yep. Started off as a, as a vendor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and who, who was there before that? Did you go come into this? Was there another? In this specific location, I'm not entirely sure what was here beforehand. Um, the, the manager of Bricks, oh, okay, right here. Gotcha. She's fantastic. She's fantastic. So Thank you. I just yeah. popped in there and grabbed a mango cup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. Where's that accent from? Boston. <laughs> yeah. It's like a South African Boston accent. <laughs> I got to tell you. <laughs> well, that's the drinking, I guess. The mango. Right? <laughs> <laughs> here with the dog. I was out here last night. So. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that's right. So he's Roll, like, rolling hey, right Mark, into you, it. Are you around? <laughs> I'm like, no. I'm being responsible, getting stuff put together. <laughs> I had to get all this. No, nonsense but, but anyway as usual thank you for you know always plugging us on the on your facebook we love that you've been such a fan and we appreciate that such a fan and it's been nice yeah we're, we're definitely growing um our big thing right now is catering has really taken off in the past year you know covid helped with that a lot so people started ordering from home and since we've got that traction it's just become such a such a thing so we're trying to get the word out that um, we can cater our events as far as off-site, and we can staff it fully. So we do a lot of weddings now, beach events, parties on Siesta, et cetera, and that's been a lot of fun for us. Wow. Okay. Well, I did not know that, so that's actually a very, very good thing. Yeah, I know where your birthday party I'll, I'll cover. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yay. <laughs> did you hear that? We had that. On, we have that on tape. Yeah. Scott, okay. Scott, we got that that's down. That's going to be a party. I want it, I want it verbally. 400 invited, of your right? closest friends. <laughs> he can die uh-huh. now. Yeah, she, He's going to put that on ILDS. Mm-hmm. I love downtown Sarasota. It's oh. a group, not a page. Yeah, not a page. He's going to be put that, hey, guess what? That's right. And we got it on tape. You know, So when she's like, no, 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 no. Cut off was 100. Like, hey, 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 hey. I didn't hear that on this. 19,000 followers I, or members, right? <laughs> We're all coming 22. down. I checked this morning. 22. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. Good. Yeah, good yeah, for you. But, but every, yeah, every time I come down here, it's, it's rising, eyes and bricks, pretty much, you know, back and forth. Yeah. And, and they got, and they got the music. Two over at, at Bricks too, and it was that. Is that guy still there on Fridays? Or yeah, Fridays live and music Saturdays. Fridays and Saturdays, and during season we'll go back to you know Saturday mornings and and throughout the week as well. And who's the guitar player guy? We have John on Friday. Um, he's great. I, yeah, I can't. And, and he interacts with the, everybody. Yes. Is that John? Yes, that guy. He's Anytime funny. I hire someone new, I'm like, do come in on a Friday night. I want exactly that. He's upbeat. He's jovial. He gets the crowd involved. Um, you know, we try to keep a very upbeat, positive environment. It's a neighborhood place, right? <laughs> So when he's playing and you're kind of just like bopping through the restaurant, singing along, it's he's really good. And then we have a new country singer, Jason White, on Saturdays, and he's incredible as well. Awesome. Yeah. And, and again, another one of the places along in downtown Sarasota that all has live music. I mean, Fridays and Saturdays, you're hurting for nothing. You're not hurting for anything to do downtown. Absolutely. Like, like Nico, so what you, what'd you do last night? What was your... So I've lived out here now for 10 months, right? We're coming up mm-hmm. on a year in August and... I tell everybody, I go, welcome to sunny southwest Florida, okay, where you have everything right here. It is absolutely amazing. My wife and two kids, whether we want to do stuff for the kids, the playgrounds, the beaches, the restaurants, it's just never ending, Mm -hmm. especially right here in downtown. I mean, you have every food option you could imagine, drinks, different classes of people, everything. It's just never ending. I've never seen it. I try to explain it to people back home. It really doesn't make sense. I go, you got to come here Mm -hmm. and see it for yourself, you know? And and when you tell people, like, literally, it's, it's... Two blocks. Everything is within two blocks. Right it's here. hard to it's understand. Right here, right? Unless Things. you see it. One block you don't is get main it. Street. Yeah, it's Fruitville's two blocks from here. So everything is right here. <laughs> yeah. It's like 10, 12 Sagat rated restaurants and the beach is right well, over there in Lido. It's everything. But yeah, but then you got the, the Marina Jack, tiki bars, bricks. Jesus Christ, Norris Bricks. Right. Um no, we're going to eat the bricks today. Right we're excited about it. When we walked in there earlier. Have, have you been in there? Have you we eaten in there? We have not done it yet. Oh, so wonderful. we're starting to hit all the downtown what? areas right now. And uh, over the past couple months, we've done a few. Everything's fantastic. Yeah. No, no bad meals yet. I mean, you know, I've gained 30 pounds since I got here. I thought I was on the weight loss journey because of the <laughs> no. heat. No. No. Nope. I go, I got to nope. get through trying everything first, right? So this is, and you're going you're gonna to find yourself becoming bougie. So what's right. going to happen is, and you're going to be like, no. I think we're past that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You, yeah, we're going to be like, no, not me. You, Everything is so good here. Pretty soon you're gonna be like, no, 
that steak wasn't as good as the one at Hyde yeah. Park. Right. And this is like straight up out. fantastic steak, right? And you're like, no. Well, it is too funny. Yes. Over the years, obviously, punk Florida had the stigma is the food's not that good. Especially people back home in Boston. You know, mm-hmm. Well, I call this home now. Back in Boston. Right? This right. is home now. And, and I don't think we're known for anything. Like, Boston's known for specific foods, right? Like, well, we're known course. for you, something. I mean, well, it's just well, not, nothing you want to talk see, about. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean. Right, like Boston yeah. was your lobster rolls. I had one of the best so, yeah, lobster rolls right. I ever had at Shaw, okay? Very comparable to Boston. You know, you know, times have changed, obviously. I mean, you oh, go to Lobster Craft. Have you been to Lobster Craft? I haven't done Lobster Craft yet. I saw Armas. that on Yelp. Yep, yep, they said that was fantastic. Uh-huh. But even as far as Chinese, Italian, down at Napoli, even here right on Main Street. Uh, what's the name of it? That's the one we got to get a reservation for. They were just on the Herald Tribune for... Classico. No. Nope, not Classico, the other one. Right on Main, they were just um, in the Herald so, Tribune for Best uh, Italian. Oh, uh, 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 No. Um, Cafe Amice? Yes, yeah. Cafe yeah. Amice. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. saw that on the Herald Tribune, followed by Mediterranean. They were number two I was on say there. Epicure, but yeah. Epicure, yep. yeah. that's one too. But I went think there, yeah, had a right, martini right, last the, night. Yeah. Yeah. Cafe Amici was the one. Yeah, but no, we are just overjoyed. You have no idea, you know. We got so nervous when we first came here, you know, business-wise, everything. Of course, I hooked up with the best realtor, I think, in oh, Sarasota. Please. Okay. please. <laughs> i got to throw oh, that please. shout out to him. Yeah, thank you. Me and Mark have been Thank going you. pretty good together, right. you know. We're you want bonding. a coffee? You want a coffee? <laughs> <laughs> but no, something. the food, the stigma of the food's not that good. You have everything here, right in downtown Sarasota. Well, it, what's what's so nice, too, I always say is, you know, you're, you're already by the beach, but if you want to take a little staycation, there's so many neighboring islands you have st pete you have captiva mm-hmm. you have venice you have you can just take an hour drive and you're in like a whole other piece of paradise and it's all within one to two hours yeah which yeah, is incredible absolutely. and, and yeah. even we even within sarasota everything has its own different flavor too like of siesta course, is right? a different like vibe than like lido which is a different vibe than lakewood ranch which is a different vibe than Siesta. Um, yeah, Siesta or like South And you've got all that within 15, 20 minutes. You right. want to yep. be in a downtown atmosphere, mm-hmm. nightlife clubbing, or the beach village feel. I mean, it is all right here. And, and so when, when talking to clients, too, it becomes funny when they're like, uh, because they're coming from places where they're driving three hours to get to the water, right? And so like, uh, so how important is the beach to you? You know, I'm with like the water and all that. Well, we have to be gotta be within like two minutes like we have to be i'm like dude you're, you're used to driving three hours right, to get someplace right. you can get anywhere from anywhere pretty much within 20 to 25 minutes exactly I think that's even out to yep. like 75 so mm-hmm. like you know it's not that bad it you is know? it's all right now yeah. it's all yeah and it becomes a matter of you know toes in the sand i want to be able to step out and go right on the beach you know it's just and People get boozy without even, even talking that 15, 20 minutes. My father was just out visiting with his wife, Doris, and she's not a big beach person, not in the sun. She's Filipino, so the heat doesn't do well with her. She never left that UTC mall and didn't realize it was 15 minutes away. <laughs> she goes, this place has everything. You know? UTC, <laughs> right, Anderson another place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anderson alone. I have a three-year-old, and it's you could just spend, I could spend a whole week there with her and not get bored. Right. It's beautiful. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But try and explain it to someone that's not from here or been here. They think you're crazy. It's like, why are you talking this place up so much? Because you moved there? I'm like, no, come no, see No, seriously, it. it's cool. <laughs> right? I go, this is right, wild. Go, hey, you, you just picked up and left, and now you don't ever want to think that you made a mistake. Right. No, <laughs> no seriously. <this> real. <laughs> you guys suck, and this place is great. Well, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, that article came out recently. Number five in the country. Five, Number yes. five. Top five, yeah. yeah. One yep. in Florida. Number one in Florida and yep. five in the country. Yep. And then you go to, like, you know, a larger metro like Tampa. You know, I lived there for a while, and people go, "Well, we got so much more in Tampa, but it's gloomy and it's not." I mean, walking around this downtown, you have all the European outdoor seating. You got everyone with their dogs. The it's just it's pretty and it's paradise. You know, it's you could just it's yeah, sunnier. it's a better here. place I think to live. Friendly, yeah, like, like you live right? here and go to Tampa. downtown. Oh, Tampa, family yeah. friendly, absolutely. Right. Family mm-hmm. friendly, yeah. just everybody's friendly. Yeah. You got like the, the Midwest Bank Amphitheater if you want to go see it, like a big show, like it, like uh, Metallica comes to town. I mean that's where they would go, like so the right. big the big venues, um, and then like a lot of the music and St. Pete's fantastic. But it's you know it's thirty five minutes away, so you like you live here, right. where right. you got all the the creature comforts and the walkability, and then go to those go to those places rather than live like you're talking about. It's kind of gloomy up there in Tampa. Mm-hmm. Why live in the gloom? What's that? And back to what you were saying, you know, you get that European feel. This was my first time out late night last night, came out about nine o'clock and, you know, the cafes, everyone having espresso late night, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. You don't find many cities that still do that Mm -hmm. where that outside seating and everything and everybody relaxing, you know, just enjoying themselves at that hour of the night. You know, Mm -hmm. it had a huge European vibe. 
especially back when I was in uh, Italy just recently. You know, the outside dining, the eating, and everything was just comfortable, you know? See, he's already bougie. This, yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. No, it's already getting bougie, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. See, so, yeah, living down. You guys t- did this to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. From Boston to bougie. You're welcome. Yeah. I wish someone would be mean to me out here. No one is. No. <laughs> Come on in. You're, 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 you losing your, you're losing your edge. And you go back home and they're like, guys, oh, stop. Of course, being I'm mean getting pushed around when I get home. People beep at me now, you know. And you just let it go. Yeah. I'll be in Sarasota soon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where the friendly people live. No, but I think that's it too because people like from Italy or from, you know, wherever, New York, Boston, Cal, they bring with them what they know. Yes. And, and I think they leave with they leave what they didn't like so like everyone here, everyone here is happy i think they realize how friendly people are here what's here and they're like hey i'm and i'm, not, I'm just going to say boston but i don't mean it in any other way other than yeah those night or those winters in boston suck you know they're not good you know, here's fantastic you know so i'm going to put the dog up here on the <laughs> my counter so like they know some all, some, all the good here someone they, walked by and just handed their dog over to mark <laughs> I yeah, we didn't even know that person. That's not your dog? No. No. <laughs> That's not <laughs> his dog. <laughs> there we go. We're being serious. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> no, we, we do know her. It just, um, yeah. She, she, <laughs> She, yeah, I just said I did. I did. I just like, some, so some woman, random person some random just come person by and just give you the dog. The dog on Mark's lap. Sarasota, you see? That's no, it. That's very friendly. Oh, it's Mr. Sarasota. She Everyone knows Mr. Sarasota. Mr. Sarasota and Charlie I'll Sarasota. I'll take Charlie any day. Thank you, my friend. Right. She really needed that. She needed to run into bricks. She needed to use the facility. I'm going to go down to the Sylvania shop and talk to Carlos for a little bit. Might be some surprises happening down at that place soon. Oh, we heard that first here. Misty likes to do unique events all over town. So Who caters those something. events? Uh, oh, she Misty, ca- Misty oh, just oh, throws them herself. Oh, oh no, Misty. she just. Oh, another like offer to do right something there. here. Look at that. <laughs> Who caters your events? She doesn't. I don't want to do any events. She doesn't. Oh. She said she doesn't he do any events. He said you do events. <laughs> Mark said you do events, well, you do some or events. something was going yeah. on, or. Okay. All right. Okay. I think there's miscommunication. We got people all over the place. This is how this show kind of <laughs> goes yeah, most of the time. Very unscripted and very shabby. We, by we the end of the day. <laughs> by the end of the day, we don't know who we're talking to or why. And that's what makes this so I know. fun. You know, no one else does this. Just right out talking to everybody downtown Sarasota. You know. Are you still doing those happy is. hours with the Facebook group? Uh, we took a break for a while. Yeah, I think it's kind of hard um, to get started back up. We really haven't planned. I know we talked about doing it, and so much stuff. And then the, oh, then the Make a Wish Foundation thing came up, okay. so that kind of fell by the wayside. But I do want to. I think we should start like yeah, every other month. On. Let's start the meet and greets again, man. Okay. Let's do that um, because that's we'd have a, a good number of people come out. Just have a good time, like the Cobble Banker. Like it'd probably be like that size. Do you that ever talk about for, the Fresh Friday? Uh, the first Friday we're doing. Um, no. Okay, so let's every, expand on that. Yeah, yeah. So once a month, the first Friday, kind of like St. Pete does, we're doing a street event, right? It started about a year ago. Uh, my friend Joe Grano, who owns a marketing firm, started it, and it started. Not, I don't want to say small. He had a big vision, um, and they they do a theme every month. So it's seven to ten, the first Friday of the month, either on State Street or Palm. And we do a theme, there's a stage, there's a DJ, there's some sort of music, and then local vendors like ourselves, we put a bar out there and we sell food and drinks. So And now it's huge. Now on this, that topic, because yeah, we've yeah, talked we about did. it many times, yeah. Yeah. about the fact that I didn't it know moved, your friend like, like the, started that. Yeah, the fact that anymore. it moved off a of state to Palm because of some because people, of, of people that thought that it was too loud. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we beat it to death, okay? Right. So, so <laughs> yeah. it, do you see it coming back to State Street? I do. Okay. And initially, the city required that it be moved from street to street, and then it kind of permanently became here. Then that happened. I want to speak on that. Right. Um, And then hopefully, we'll just keep rotating it. Okay. But either way, bricks will always be there. We just take a bar, and we push it down the road. Oh, And we bring food with us, and we serve food and drink either way. We're committed to that. Okay, so you're always at the event. Yeah. And I've had... so I've hit that table a few times in my life at the Fresh Friday. <laughs> yeah, I think. Rather, rather it's out in front of Bricks or it's somewhere in Palm. I'm I don't think you realized who, uh, who ran it, but you, know, you went there for some alcohol. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, so last time the uh, the Five Points, that was that craft show, right? That, that wasn't the Fresh Friday. 
thing, right? Didn't they have a crash show there on, on, they always on Five do. Points? Oh, uh, on two weekends two, ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. Art Fresh, And Fresh Friday happened to be on Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. So you had the two big parties going on. So you, you had, had the, the one, one on Main in front right of... Right there uh, by Circo and then yeah. the one... Oh, no, that was three then. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because you had Fresh Fridays yeah. and then you, then you had, had Melvin's, Melvin's uh, and then you had Circo. So you had a bunch of... As you know, that, yeah, that was a yeah. bunch of parties oh, that was, down here on uh, yeah, they, Cinco de Mayo. That was nice. And, and Cinco will always be Melvin's night, and we love them. Yeah. And, you know, they're great. And it we were kind of off the Friday. beaten. Yeah, it had, we were off that path, and so we got like the more subdued crowd, the people who were like, "This is you know too much," and they came over, and yeah. it was a good. Then, night. then you had Scott. And then we had Scott. <laughs> then you had Scott over there. I was like, at both. This I went to both. <laughs> Let's get it going. I went to El Melvin thing, and then I also went to the Fresh Friday thing. Yeah. You know? And then also St. Patty's Day is huge here too. Right. Remember the one that was packed down there by a gator club yep tessa was saying this was ridiculous yep like the biggest party Tessa's has ever seen and she's been here for a while she's over a gator club probably been to a party or two she probably has <laughs> you moved to a fantastic place i think as you know Nico. of course and i want to just uh, chime in a little bit of those fresh fridays there when we came out we know no one here absolutely nobody so me and my wife showed up got a babysitter for the first time and we actually met a couple there with two kids that we're still friends with oh, to nice. this day nice so even like you're saying those meet and greets yeah. that you were starting to do Bring them back. Let's, you know yeah, I mean? because let's, let's do it, there's man. so many people moving out here, and we know no one. And there's such great ways to, you know, meet new people, mm -hmm. parents with kids, and like-minded yeah. people. You yeah. know, it's very interesting. I know you guys are all from here, figured out, but it goes. He's been here for uh, nine months. Nine months, gotcha. Nine months. Yeah, awesome. see, like so it does. It goes so people far. People meet along, people, you know? and and yeah. who meet people, and you stay friends. Especially it's tough with kids too, because you know you don't really get to do that nightlife and. You know, mingle with people. You're always with the kids' parents from school. Well, here's what's so cool about Florida, though. As soon at, at the age of four, your kids allowed to stay home by themselves <laughs> <laughs> legally. Honey, so, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, at four years old, kids can stay home by themselves. <laughs> No, that's so not true. Please don't quote me on this, everybody. Uh, okay. And speaking of bricks, we will be there at uh, one fifteen today. Yes, um, after we clean have, up. We're gonna have the races going today, so we have a lot. So oh, a couple things. Right. It's National Barbecue Month right now. So God bless. God bless. <laughs> so our St. Oh Louis God. ribs, which are usually uh, nineteen fifty, we're promoting at fifteen ninety nine for the entire month. All right. And then we have a Dino rib, which is a one pound piece of meat. Going on right now. It's it, you need to get the Dino rib. <laughs> oh, <laughs> try the Dino. Fall in love. So we're, we're promoting that, and then today we have some uh, race specials as well okay. for the Preakness steaks. Can we talk about that Bloody Mary I saw a guy order? Yeah. When I walked in there, it's essentially a meal in a cup. <laughs> I couldn't oh, believe I mean, it. But we still Mark, want you, you to get. Those? I have not seen it. I have not seen it. I just walked in and seen. It. I'm like, what no, is really? that? And your oh, wife said you need us. another. What, what kind What's of beer is she drinking? I'll text the. The mango. Oh, I'm a Modelo all day. <laughs> Modelo or, uh, or Corona. be fantastic. Thank you so much. Ashley, we're ordering you a mango right. card on We're air. breaking our own rule. We're going to have a beer during uh, the show. We're well, way, way past that. Well, no. I, have, I mean, well, Nico will no. always we'll have it sitting here. We won't be drinking it. Okay. Wink, wink, wink. All right, whatever. But uh, you guys text it real quick. Okay. We won't miss it. So, yeah, we have so, happy hour. Uh, Belmont State. Is it the Belmont today? Uh, the race is the Preakness is today. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have happy hour the during the week. Then? Is the Belmont the last leg then? The third? It's isn't yes, it the right. Kentucky, Kentucky yeah, Derby, the Derby yeah. then then uh, Preakness. and then there's Preakness one more, and then, uh, Belmont, which is the Belmont, Belmont yes, yeah. which okay. we'll also be running okay. specials for. Well, we will find ourselves there right after this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm that's gonna that's get hungry. hungry. Yeah, this is like the uh, the fun time too. So my Saturdays, pretty. And what's going on tonight, Scott? I'm gonna we're gonna. Segue into that. I what you don't got? have any plans. Well, you know, we made it start some. What's going on with you? <laughs> you, have, you have a babysitter for the kids? I'm sure I'll be somewhere. I don't have a babysitter, but Ashley's yeah, somewhere. Somewhere. I think I'm going to. Uh, uh, maybe Ashley. Maybe we can talk her into uh, I don't know if I should talk about this on, on the air, but I will. Do you know um, the <laughs> Siesta, Siesta Rum uh, Distillery, where yeah. that is? The, it's, where it's located? In the village? Where, where it's located? Siesta Village? Correct. I'm sorry? On the key, correct? Yeah. yeah it, is that it, the one it, I see market with Scooter on the beach? Scooter on the beach, beach has his brand the rum, right. for, the, for the Siesta Rum. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm supposed to go there this afternoon. Oh, yeah, you so know. Um, I did, that's all I know. I said I would oh, go down there. Um, forgot her name. She was right here, the one that would not come on the air. Leah. Leah. I'm going she, with her. Oh, okay. Right. She, she just mentioned asked she me was if I wanted to go. And yeah. I, I said, hey, I'll, so I'm going to do that at 3 o'clock. Yeah, if she went, asked you to go over and walk over burning bricks or burning coals, <laughs> you're, you're probably going. Say, yeah. <laughs> no, not happening. <laughs> Can I? But, uh, Can I work over glass with me? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not going there. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm no. kidding. So actually, she's. She was no, that should be with fun. A couple friends, That's and the friends, uh, she ended up coming here, and their friends went elsewhere, and they're, they're not going to go to that. 
rum huh. tasting. So I don't know what I'm doing tonight, depending on how much rum I drink at a well, tasting. pace yourself, I because will. this is like my night out. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the night, because Sunday I can sleep in. Friday I do all the get ready for this, you know, so I really can't go out. Um, and I just save it for Saturday. You know? And we usually go out and then we go to Gator Club and grab a drink after that, and then we got to run around. Instead. We're going to go to Bricks instead. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we're going to Bricks, yeah. I was waiting for that. No, no, no. We're doing yes. Bricks today. Yeah, yeah. we're doing a Bricks. I got you covered. <laughs> we're doing, no, 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 we're doing a, we're doing a Bricks. Um, and then, I don't know, and then you know, you know we're going we're gonna to end up at Cascanale. Yeah. At some point, Probably maybe between 8 and 11. Somewhere between then, you know, and keep that in the back of your head, Nico. That's the music. The keep that in the back of your head. If you dirty bird. Free. I want to get back She's to that it. Bloody Mary we were talking about. <laughs> I do, too. I do, too. Because okay, I can't stop it? thinking about it, all right? Yeah. I'm ordering one right now. I'm going to go and get one and bring it out. So it comes with ribs, bacon, burn ends, our pickled vegetables on oh top of it. God. So, again, we still want you to order the meal, but it's essentially a meal in a cup. And it's incredible. I should have seen the size of the rib on the thing when I walked by. And I yeah. Go, what is that? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and we serve it for brunch, but you can request it throughout the week if you wanted to. Absolutely. Okay, right. gotcha. So what is that, one of those specials just for brunch? But you can yeah. just ask for it. Yeah, okay. so we do brunch on the weekends. Um, what are those hours? So it's 10 a.m. on Saturday we open, and then until 3 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday we have brunch. Okay. We have happy hour Monday through Friday from 3 to 6. Uh, live music on Friday and Saturday. Um, lunch, brunch, dinner, catering, offsite. Is that your per? Oh, that's not who you were. Texting. Can you Is get it? a mango cart for his wife? Can I get uh, a Bloody Mary? I swear to God. I, I, I swear to God. <laughs> can, we get some, can I get a Bloody Mary? <laughs> can I, yeah, absolutely. Can I get a Modelo? She'll be back. So okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean yeah. after the show, of course. <laughs> I guess I'll have another one. Let's go. Yeah. I don't know why. I usually get myself involved these in, in these Sarah, situations, Sarah. We, and every time this happens, we all end up drinking. I've just got that way about oh. me, I think. you know. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I think we always hear the bad about alcoholism, never the good stuff. And there's some, there's some good that goes I, I I'm asked my kidding, barber. I asked there's my barber a couple months ago yeah. where to find a really good Bloody Mary. He did not mention bricks. Okay. But I'll now I'm going to be able to tell Thank him. You. When I go see him again, I'm going to say, you told me, and, and you don't care if we mention other places, right? Of he course. told me his daughter worked at Maid and that they had a good Bloody Mary. I still never went there and got one yet, but now that I have you guys. Yeah, no, we I want to support all of our local yeah. restaurants. Yeah, and, and it's good. Competition is good, too. Yeah. Because yeah. That, they, and if it's not going to be taste the same. good, it's definitely picture worthy, Instagram worthy. I mean, that <laughs> oh, it tastes good. Now I'm getting you one. <laughs> now I'm getting you one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking that back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no, mean, it I looked just, fantastic. Just it. It sounds great. Time. So yeah, I was trying to find a Bloody Mary place, you know, and uh, oh, no, definitely my first check try. one out. It's awesome. gonna be my first Bloody Mary in Sarasota, <clears throat> downtown <throat> Sarasota, other than my house. <laughs> um, other than every night at your house. <laughs> <laughs> no, the mornings. Mm-hmm. So it looks like uh, Rise and Eyes has now kind of calmed back down. Yes. Yeah, uh, crowded though. Like this is pretty much what they do all the time for the most part. On the weekends, they're pretty much, and the people, and you know the, the, the mission here. Are you familiar with? Yes, yes. Yeah, that, and that's fantastic. No, it's unbelievable. What they do. What it does. It's it's definitely like, whatever we can do to right. support them is what we do. Um, yeah, no, we've definitely seen a larger dip this season than we have the past couple seasons with everyone moving here last year. So, hopefully, pick back up here in a couple weeks. <clears throat> no, I think so. And then you got to staple people, and, and now we're gonna. We'll be visiting more often now that we know that you have the Bloody Mary there. <laughs> and now that, that everyone knows Jesus. And then Jesus the now. Right? Now, <laughs> now that I, and not Jesus. I, and guess what? I assume we're going to have a very the busy Lord. night. I'm going to staff up. Uh, I Lord. just think people are going to go there on Sunday instead of their, <laughs> their normal uh, church. I'm not going to St. Martha. I'm yeah. just going to go over to Bricks. Yeah, so we're going to have those people that come over. Then they're going to get a lot of phone calls with the and other people that they call me Jesus. and say, that wasn't funny. <laughs> you can't, that's taking the Lord's name in vain. And I don't think it is because when we were... We're associating with a fantastic meal and a fantastic yeah, yeah. restaurant, so it's not taking. It's all. It's. I'm joking, everybody. The <laughs> Lord does not actually work there, but it just tastes very, very good. I'm just being funny. Thank you. So, question for you now: Do you guys run out of anything ever? Like the brisket, does that usually go first, or? Yeah, I mean, essentially, we want to run out at the end of the night, right? right? That is our goal. Yes. We try not to run out before nine o'clock, but sometimes that does happen. Like our rib special right now. That potentially can happen. So try and get around. in early. Yeah, exactly. And that thing is running 24-7. So I think that's the most difficult part about managing it is just we always have to keep an eye on the pars and, Absolutely. you know, business. Yes. And you don't want to use leftover meat. So Right, always huge, fresh, right? Right. So. Yeah, so we, we 
smoke our brisket overnight and our pork overnight, and then we come in and pull that out and we put our ribs in because the ribs take about six hours instead of the 16 hours I'm for the brisket. I'm salivating talking to yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as, as, as am I. As am yeah, I. Yeah, so we definitely try to run out the end, at the end of the night. Oh, so try the burnt ends. Oh, yeah. When yeah. you go in there, have oh. you tried the burnt ends? Oh, my God. you tried the burnt ends? No, I haven't eaten here yet. I oh, can't so wait to, as soon as we're done with this, I'm we're going to go in and we're going to feast. <laughs> so but. So good. Go ahead, Mark. No, no, I, I, that's all I got. You know, I'm drooling. You yeah. talk. No, 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 no. I don't know if I can because I'll have drool coming out of my mouth. Thinking about the. How's your appetite, though? Honestly, after that ice cream eating, it's okay. Is no, it I mean, it's, I'm he done. He only ate three. <laughs> I mean, like you're. you're Based toddlers. on the beads of sweat coming off his head, as like if he ate like a gallon. Concerned, like I did something. <laughs> like, Mark, I mean, are you okay? Be... It's like, yeah. dude, you had like. Three. I've got it all on video. You did make the act look good. You were. Oh, you know, I was, the hands were yeah, yeah. going, the, you know. Yeah. I was just not doing it enough. I, there was not enough on the spoon, I think, right. to, to do it. I think the motion was you good. You looked the part. You know? uh, yeah. Yes. You looked like was, you'd be the winner. Right, of course he did. <laughs> I we sweat, I sweat this video like that I got of him, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can we put that to the this page? Can we add Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to send that it over. Is. We'll upload it. Yeah, <laughs> we definitely will. And, no, Mark, I was sitting in the seat of in now. Dude, we definitely will. And I've got the up view. This is for your wife. I've got the up view, Mark. Oh, eating. great. So you got the <laughs> got drippage. The you got the drippage out of yes. the mouth. And Hold great. on. Let me give that that's to Ashley. Thank you so much. Oh, it smells very citrusy. Yeah, that's our mango cart. Wow. Oh. It smells really, really good. So, no, that was... It's, I remember now... <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> what did she, what did she laugh? Oh, I, I have young kids, so I understand. Oh, is that for your daughter? Is that... <laughs> Oh, yeah, what she ordered? Okay. That's the other thing about Florida. The drinking I think age is six. The drinking age here is six. So, yeah, you, six. Can, you can essentially leave your kid home at four, and by six they're drinking. Because, you know, they're, you know, it's okay. Florida. We don't care. It's Florida. It is it's, it's the land that COVID forgot. My wife sends me in to um, untuck it. Right when we get here, we had an event. Oh we had to go gosh. there. She goes, go get a nice shirt. You don't have nice clothing. I said, okay. Whatever. <laughs> she tells me when to buy a shirt and to get a haircut. Those are the only time, two times I'll do it. So it's four haircuts a year, you know, every other month way. it's for a shirt, right? So I go into Untucket, and she goes, would you like a shot of our honey bourbon? I said, yes, I would. What you a know? nice touch. <laughs> I go, only in Florida, right? Okay. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I said, I will be back here to buy another shirt next week. Yeah, right. <laughs> Got another customer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And no. then in the uh, Sam's Club, they have a free wine sampling and the drinks that they yep. do right there. And mm-hmm. I said, honey, I'll start doing the grocery shopping, too. <laughs> Then we take the kids to Payne Park to the playground there. Then they got cafe in the park. I go, I'll take the, I'll kids, take the to kids to the playground. There. I got this whole thing coming. Honey, honey I go, I, this I, is unreal. Hey, I feel Dad ourselves. I, I think he's trying to tell us something. <laughs> no, no, he's like, honey, I, f- I feel so much closer to you now. You're taking an active part in our children. Right. Yeah, baby, I am. Yeah, yeah. That's. <laughs> but but you come home kind of goofy every time. Right. What's what's going on? In a great mood. Yeah, in, in a great mood. Yeah, you're fantastic. And you smell like ma- mangoes for some reason. Your daughter looks like she's secretly judging you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. Ariana, you want to come say hi? I very much don't want to. Oh, you've got a tattoo? Excellent. Oh, see, okay, Just yet again. Oh, smile pretty. Uh, yesterday no, was the okay. last day of school for them. Oh. So, yeah, another rule. So, uh, tattoos at the age of seven. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. So, really, so it's what? Four, you can stay home. Six, six you can drink Six and then beer. get drunk, and then the kid can go get a get tattoo, tattoo drunk at seven. seven. Yep. So, yeah, this is a great place to live <laughs> and raise a family. Yeah. Too bad I didn't move here 30 years ago. Yeah. And raise my kids <laughs> to a nap. Too bad I wasn't <laughs> here 45 years ago and been raised here to do that. But, no, it's, it's, a, it's a great place. We're obviously joking. That is not, none of that is real. Um, it's just, yeah, it kind of just like the show, huh? Just like the show. Okay. None it's of it's like really Seinfeld. real. Like Seinfeld, it's, it's just a show about it's a radio show about nothing. Yep. But the people of Sarasota yeah. who are are something and they're fantastic. So that, that's what the show's about. Absolutely. Things and things like the ice cream eating contest and uh, bricks where Jesus works and uh, and all and all our friends, people that we meet on the street and get to hang out with. And there's there is. Some, always something going on like even last week I was like man I haven't had been to like a festival or you know a night of, there's just always something going on in the city whether it be something downtown on St. Armand's UTC there's mm-hmm. there's always like even St. Pete like the reggae festival yeah a couple months ago <clears throat> but Mark even back to it even yeah. you know 15 minutes within here there is something to do every single day mm-hmm. whether it's free outdoors there's something it's never ending mm-hmm. 
We don't and realize across, how good we have it here. I realize it when I go back now to Boston. Mm -hmm. the, let's and you were honest, mentioning that the other the time. The city never you recovered. Back. Yeah. yeah, I go back every month for work, for real estate. And uh, the city really never recovered after COVID. And the prices were outrageous. And it was just, I don't know, nothing ever came back into fruition. It just didn't. It's not the same. Everyone to work from home. Everybody left downtown, you know. Yeah. It's interesting. And, and, so to come here, they, it's such a, a breath of, of fresh air. Yeah, we're here. Yeah. Now. So <laughs> like did you me. see, like, so downtown, when people moved, do you see, like, the, the, the area kind of start to, to mimic that? Like, the buildings would start to not be as, like, no, not as active downtown. Things weren't being taken care of as 100%. much as before. One of my favorite uh, restaurants. Activity stopped happening. Like, yeah, one, one of my like favorite that. restaurants. Uh, I fly on the airplane there. Uh, Pizzeria Regina's North End, Endicott Street. And where you got your Yeah, over at Oddities, honey. Yep. Oh, How did he? Wow. Oh, on the. Yep. You're not seven yet. You shouldn't have that tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> we had tattoos at the age of seven in Florida. So. Yeah, no. But in any event, I jump off the plane and go, I'm going to get a mushroom pizza at Pizzeria Dreams. World famous. Mm -hmm. Wednesday night, 7 30. He goes, Ah, we weren't that busy. We closed. You know, for all, good? I mean, no, no, no. Oh, no, for night, that night. Early. Okay. No, you know, but it, totally. it was never like that. I mean, you go to Bova's, 24 hour bakery, downtown, but none of that is open anymore. Just, it's not happening, you know? See, see, that's funny here, too, because, like, down now here, and I think you probably heard this as well, there's a deli over there on uh, uh, on Palm that they're yes. making that deli. Walked by it last night, and yep. they're very close to opening. Very yeah. close to opening and being to see if, you know, this the city can support that, but being 24 hours. Yes. Oh really? So, oh, I didn't oh, know wow. that. They were gonna do it up to midnight, and then if, if the if the city supports it, like the the nightlife and people coming right. out of old the school, New York, Jewish like, deli, right? The meat condition, twenty four hours. hours. Great idea. So it'll, it's, it'll it's make the city feel it or like not, I will be there. It'll, it'll make it feel like we're on a college campus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, after it, the bars close at one, two, you just go down to the but deli it does at kinda, three o'clock. It is kind of funny how Nico's saying how things are are closing, like in Boston, like those types of things are closing there. People are moving here, and they're bringing it here, and they're opening it up here. So that's interesting. Yeah. Chicago is pretty similar. You know, I just, once COVID hit, they shut everything down. And then the next week they'd be open partially. And then they shut everything down. And, they, and that whole thing. And, you know, I, it wasn't like that here. I was mm -hmm. coming down for business at the time. And right. Obviously, it and you still enjoy I moved here. You still enjoy going to Chicago, but just maybe not quite I don't even the go same down, things. Yeah, I don't even really go downtown anymore. I just go see family and then come back. Each yeah. trip is shorter, as you know. Yeah, I go for nine is, days, then I went for seven, then I went for five, and, and now rag, it's like four. Couldn't be any like, more true. Like, you know? And they rag on you for coming down, but then they secretly wish they were down here when you come down. <laughs> and you send them pictures. Now I'm to the point with my wife. She was like, "Oh, me and the kids are coming." I'm like, all right. She goes, "Ah, maybe I'll hang out here." You know, you go. <laughs> you know, it used to be the seven day trip. Now it's the three day trip. You know, uh -huh. in and out. You know, but it's it's like Groundhog Day there. It's the same thing over and over, and there's not. I, hate to say but there's not much to do especially with young ones mm -hmm. you know it's yeah. cold it's dreary it's rainy you know mm -hmm. go to the same arcade you know yeah just be yeah, outside here it's that. hot it's sunny it's it's you know it's sunny day. southwest florida Dude, it's like you know? groundhog day here too but just and opposite the, and you can just jump on the bay runner right can you do that <laughs> oh wait wait a segue <laughs> scott bay runner? wait a segue into Pardon? that one scott bay runner have you i, taken I that haven't no or, yeah. but yeah we I see people all the time. Have you been it's on the right Bay Runner? Idea. We have yeah. not done it yet. I, I, oh. have, I have not done it either, frankly. <laughs> well, we the new Scott, we live Scott here. is the, the only. <laughs> I live here. Twice. All right, yeah, tell us about new. it. What is the Bay Runner? I get on uh, the Bay Runner. Um, goes as far east, I believe, uh, Maine and Washington. The trolley. Mm -hmm. The trolley. Well, oh, yeah, it's, it's an open air bus. Oh, I'm so sorry. But there yeah. are trolleys too. I think Please. there's trolleys. It's an open air bus. <laughs> no, there's trolleys. I think there's. Trolley, like, the yeah. red trolleys are red. The Bay Runner is white and green the, and whatever. No, so, yeah, it's a yellow. So I don't know about one. the trolleys. Yeah. I don't know where they stop. But and the Bay it's Runner, free, right? Yeah. Tro yeah. And the Bay Runner. Bay Runner, no cost. There. Uh, yep. yep. And they, they stop at Madison's. They stop at Classico in front of Madison's, yeah. in front of Classico. And then they go to St. Armand's, and then they go to Lido Beach. Yep. It's, it's, it's Main Street, South good. Lido, yeah. Main Street. And consistently, yeah. gotcha. oh, two of them. And it's like, what, every 20 minutes or so? Is it 20 minutes it comes? Yeah. And actually... It doesn't work on tips. Like, tipping is discouraged. They get paid by the city, and you're wow. not to tip them. And that's the difference, you know? Yeah. And then you just get I on. Go to Boston, on top of trying to get that pizza, it was 55 bucks to park, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> or if, now or, we're talking about free transportation or, 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 here on top of or it. Or if you get on, like, a trolley or something, like, uh, you forgetting something? Yeah. <laughs> As you walk, I know it's free, but you forgetting something. <laughs> like, dude, I'm sorry. Right. Tip jar in hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Have a great day. <laughs> you know. So yeah, but they, they discourage tipping here too, which takes all that pressure off of just enjoying. Of it, right? Yeah, you just enjoy getting on there and going down to going to Lido. 
Nice. That is nice. Yeah, I, we, we, I definitely got to get onto it. Scott's been on it two, two times. Uh, had the suggestion of doing a, a like a, a portable podcast on there, which I think would be a great idea. Like yeah. just to take a portable and just go on there and talk to people. And Start here and yeah. uh, do it on the Bay Runner. and you Go there go and Lido back and just and heckle people. And Lido and do a little bit and then come back. Yeah. I think we should do that one of these times. Well, thank you very, very much. I know you got to get back because, or we're do you? Up. Yeah, no, we're yeah. picking up. I mean, you're welcome to stay. I mean, it's not like we're we're yeah. bogarting you. No. She's like running the place if she's here. Right? <laughs> you know, she keeps peeking enjoy, over her shoulder. Yeah, she's like, yeah, enjoy yeah. having you here at the Table same time. 73 needs another beer. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I'm going to get in the kitchen, and okay. I'm going to bring you guys some Bloody Marys. That'd thank you for awesome. having Oh, me. And then we're going to come in there in about... A half yeah, hour to eat. I, yeah. I literally see Mark every single Anytime. day. So yeah, yeah. I appreciate your support. All right, Anya, the recommendation. It's my, it's absolutely my alive. pleasure. The place is fantastic. Recommendation for me, the wife, and the kids. What's the go-to order? 100% get the brisket. You need to get like a meat and meat platter to try the meats. Okay. And then the bacon, burnt, and tacos. All right. And we have, and we have There's waffles. There's tacos? <laughs> <laughs> burnt and I didn't tacos. hear about that. I didn't get burnt <laughs> bacon. Bacon tacos? Oh, burnt. my All right, God. I know what I'm getting. And then the girls will get some waffles. Tacos. Okay. I'm going to go get you a Bloody Mary. In though, the okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Thank guys. you. Okay. All right.